Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I focus on freelancing and tech tutorials. I am really excited about today's tutorial. In the past week, OpenAI introduced 4.0 image generation into ChatGPT and now it's free for everyone, paid and non-paid ChatGPT users. And you might say, well, I was always able to make images in ChatGPT. Well, previously that was powered by DALI, but this is different. This new image generator is powered by GPT 4.0. So all the tech jargon aside, I want to show you the results of this and show you just how game changing this is. I'm going to go through a few different demonstrations. I'm going to show you how we can convert text to image. Then I'll show you how you can convert image to image. For example, if you draw a sketch, you can convert it to art or transform your own photograph to a different style. And then I'll show you how you can combine both text and image to create an image. So let's jump into it. So I'm going to use a free version of ChatGPT for this, just to show you that you can do this right now with the free version. You may experience some limits if you're on the free plan. So watch my full tutorial before you start experimenting. So what we're going to do is write, create an image that contains the following. A title at the top that says Jen's favorite things, a purple circle, a pink musical note, green ukulele, Christmas tree, a pile of books, coffee cup, swimming pool, camping tent, and the word family written in cursive. So if it looks like this when you're generating an image and says getting started, that means you are using OpenAI's new image generator because it doesn't say powered by DALI. Again, this is on the free plan right now. So this takes a while. It's not as quick as other image generators and that's because it's better and it's going to give you a better result. If you've ever experimented with image generators before, you know that AI often has difficulty following instructions and paying attention to detail and also generating text. So this is what it generated and it took about a minute or so, but it's almost perfect. The text is perfect. They have family in cursive, Jen's favorite things. We've got a purple circle, pink musical note. We have everything. The only thing, if I click on it, is this little thing here. I don't know why that was added, but that would be so easy to remove with Photoshop or any other image editor. So to download your image, you just click here on download. And I want to show you just how amazing this is by comparison. If I go, and look at Google AI Studio, this is what they generated. Now this just looks like something that was created with clip art in Microsoft Word. It's, you know, look at it. <laughs> you can't compare this. This looks like someone designed this in Photoshop and this looks like it was just made with Microsoft Paint, okay? I tried this same prompt in Bing Image Creator, which uses DALI, and while it is much prettier, you can see it's all cut off. There's all sorts of strange elements added, like balloons. The text is all off. This looks like AI created it, because it did. And there's a weird little person added. It's just not what I asked for. So this is really revolutionary. Okay, so in our next series of demonstrations, I'm going to show you how you can create images using images. So what you'll do to upload an image is click on this plus icon, then click upload from computer. And I'm going to upload this little image of my dad that my niece drew. And I'm going to write convert into a 3D cartoon. Keep colors the same and the shape, stick to the original design as much as possible. And look at what ChatGPT has created. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. The more detailed you are with your text prompt, the better. Because I said to keep the colors the same and the shape and to stick to the original design, for this reason, you can see that it's pretty much identical. You know, she had this detailing of the hat. We've got that here. We have the round nose, the round eyes, the color of the pants and the shirt. This is just incredible. Let's try a demonstration using an actual photograph of myself. And I'm going to say, transform this image into a cartoon to be used in a business logo. The more descriptive you are in your text prompt, the better, but I'm just going to use a simple prompt to see what it comes up with. So this is what it came up with, and I think that looks pretty good. I mean, you can see the building in the background, the lights, you know, me with my hair and everything. Let's say I have a travel blog and I'm looking for a cute little cartoon icon or logo. This is pretty accurate. I also did this other demonstration with this old picture, which is very blurry, and ChatGPT created this really cute logo. The dog looks almost the exact same as this dog here. 
ChatGPT took some creative liberties. Uh, you can see my nose and smile in the logo, but not in the image, which I actually think looks better. They even have the green background matching. So this is just a really cool way that you can experiment with creating logos and even just getting an idea of what you want before you know sending these files to a graphic designer and saying, hey, can you improve this image for me? So there are some limitations to the image generation here. I did upload this image of me with a bow and arrow and I wanted ChatGPT to transform this image to make it look like I'm a Viking shield maiden. But I wanted them to keep me in it and just sort of change the background. Uh, you can see it started creating this image, which is you know nothing like me, but just the similar stance. And then there was an error, so then they tried again. But you know, they, this is not my face, this has changed. This looks like a piece of artwork. It's still beautiful, uh, but I asked to try it again. And I said, I want to maintain my face and my hair so it resembles me. And then they created this. This is definitely more similar to what I look like, but I wanted it to sort of exactly mimic my face. So I do think that this model is just going to get better and better, but it's not perfect yet. So in this last demonstration, which is my favorite, I'm going to show you how you can convert both text and image to an image. So I drew this cartoon, as you can see, I'm not an artist, and I want to turn this into a comic strip. So I have these speech bubbles and I want this to be included in the comic, but I also have, you know, rainbow, sky, grass, and this is to tell the AI model that I want them to put a rainbow here, sky here, grass, and then I've drawn some beautiful clouds right here. So I'm going to write, first I want to make sure I can understand my handwriting because it's not the best. Can you understand the text in this image? Perfect. They understand it perfectly. So I've written, please convert this image into a comic for me. I want the speech bubbles to read as they are and add images where the other labels are, rainbow, sky, background, grass, etc. And look at what ChatGPT has come up with. I mean, this is so cool. It has the rainbow, we've got the sky, the grass. I just love it. The text is perfect. So I want to make some adjustments because I guess my drawing, it kind of looked like a bandana and I wanted it to be a baseball cap. So can we edit the man's hat so it is a backwards baseball cap and give him a beard, make Jennifer's hair blonde and change her outfit to a white t-shirt with jeans and her hands are on her hips. And let's see what happens. Oh my goodness gracious, look at this. This is just what I wanted. <laughs> it's even made Jennifer look more irritated, which is exactly what I wanted. Her hands are on her hips. She's not buying what he's selling. I love it. This is so cool. I mean, I just can't believe that ChatGPT could turn this comic strip uh, into something like this. It is so cool, especially for those of us who are incapable of drawing. Um, just amazing. There are so many possibilities with this. This is just the beginning. You can draw out your own infographics, your own logo. There are so many possibilities. I'm just so excited to try out more things um, and just to see how this model gets better and better. So you may have a cap of how many images you can generate with the free version of ChatGPT. So make sure you have your prompt all nice and ready to go exactly as you want before asking ChatGPT to create your image because you may only be able to do a certain amount each day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I look forward to trying out more different prompts and giving you guys some more ideas of how you can use this tool. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.